Hey there everyone, so this is going to be my third YouTube video, so it's very exciting. Um, and it's a tutorial on how I do my colored eyebrows, so this is what they look like. This one ended up a little bit more purple, it was supposed to be pink, but the colors that I was using, they weren't as pigmented as they needed to be, so yeah. This one turned out a little bit more of a pink color, but I kind of like it, so yeah, if you want to know how to do this, stay tuned. and. I have a few more I have a few announcements. Um, next video should either be a makeup review because I'm getting some palettes from BH Cosmetics, as well as I would like to review the um, Elf makeup I've been using, or it's going to be a contact video contacts video because I bought some contacts from Pinky Paradise. So yeah, stay tuned for those and. Check out my Donkey Kong shirt because it's awesome. Isn't it? Isn't it awesome? Is there a kitty in the background? Say hi. <laughs> but yeah, so stay tuned if you would like to know how to do, do these bad boys. Good evening, boils and ghouls. Welcome to my um, very first tutorial on how I do my colored eyebrows. Um, and it's late at night, so if I'm a little quiet, that's why. Um, I was supposed to shoot this a while ago, but I got distracted with work and stuff, so... And possibly Sims 4, but that's besides the point. <laughs> so I'm going to do one eyebrow a pink, so it's will be lighter, and then I'm going to do the other eyebrow in um, purple. So you'll see the two different colors. So I have makeup on, I just cleaned off my eyebrows that I wore this morning. So yeah. Usually I start with primer, and I'm not going to prime my eyebrows because I'm going to take them off pretty soon anyway, but this is what I use. And then, so anyway, the first thing I do is I take my NYX eyeshadow base, and I outline my, the desired area of color. So, pretty much draw on my eyebrows first with a Q-tip, and this And excuse any sniffling you hear, I'm kind of starting to get a cold. So just kind of go along where you want the color to go. And I always use the back of the Q-tip if I get too much somewhere because it's kind of like where the white is is where your eyebrow is going to go. So, First one done, and this is why it takes me forever to do my eyebrows. So first we'll start with the purple one because that's pretty easy because it's a dark color. So I just start with this brush right here and we're going to go for this purple right here. Now you can put your, dip your brush in water and that helps the color come out a bit better. <laughs> Do one eyebrow with it to trim water and then one with it not, and you can kind of see the difference. Okay. You just kind of follow the white you have there.
Uh oh. <laughs> Be careful. Go. Okay. So, um, so yeah. You just draw on. I skipped ahead and yeah. put on the rest of the color, so you didn't have to watch me fiddle with that. So once you get the basic shape, I like to go in with this brush which is just pretty much a thicker version of the other one. Put some color on it and then just pack it in there on top of it to add so you can really see the color. So, And there it is. Then you just take a Q-tip, and you usually do this before I put on any other face makeup, but, and I just go in and I clean up any white or purple edges where they, where I don't want them. See, so, yeah. Perfect. Now, if I'm going to be doing a different color, because we're gonna be doing like a, we're gonna be using a combination of these two pinks to get a pink eyebrow. I will go in with the same brush after I cleaned it off. Uh, I'll go in with this one again, and I will take a white. This is just NYX white, and I'll pack it on top to make it even more, like, to make it um, kind of white out how black my eyebrows are to kind of help. Because again, I have really, really, really dark eyebrows, so... Yeah. So, yeah. And then this one I'm going to not do with water, and you can see the difference. Oh, this brush is still a little wet, so... Uh -huh. Okay, so this brush is still a little wet, so you're going to see it kind of with water anyway. <laughs> going into the shape. So I'm going to finish this eyebrow and then I'll come back and I'm just going to take this one and fill it full of lots of shadow and press it in there on top to make it a bit more noticeable. Well, now with this one because it's pink and my eyes are so dark, it didn't show up as, as well as I was hoping it to, but yeah. So when you're doing this, if you're going to do a light color like I chose to do, you're going to want to make sure it's really highly pigmented. So yeah, we're going to add a bit of this purpley pink color just so you can see them a bit better. And there we go. I often do the tail with the smaller one because I like it to come to a bit more of a point, so. My cat decided he wanted makeup too, so there, yeah. I added a bit more of a darker color so you can see it, but yeah, so purple and pink. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment or send me a message and I can help you out. Uh, a few tips, if you're gonna go light, um, make sure again that you have a really highly pigmented shadow and definitely use these because it, it, you'll have a harder time putting it on. I mean, you could just shave off your eyebrows. Lots of people do that, but yeah. So if you have any questions, let me know, and I hope you enjoyed this video.